Welcome back to MVM. Today we have another Kickstarter preview. This one is for the expansion to Railroad Rivals from Forbidden Games. It's called Robber Barons, and it is now a one to six player still drafting game, yeah. still auction bidding yeah. game that takes place in the United States, and you're building railroads. Yeah, and if you've played Railroad Rivals before, the expansion adds some new content that we'll talk about a little later, but we wanted to give a, a breakdown just of how the actual game works as well, in case you've never played Railroad Rivals. So what you're doing is you are building a railroad across the United States. Now, the railroad is going to be a communal area that yeah. everyone is building into, which is represented down here. You're going to be drafting tiles by bidding some of your money away in order to be the first to be able to collect either tiles that are gonna be placed or to collect some of the stocks that are gonna be scored at the end of the game. Yeah, that's right, and it's very abstract the way these cities are laid out. You're not connecting them by matching anything on the city itself, right. but every city has a railroad printed on each corner. And if you look at one of the tiles, you'll see different railroads printed. Whenever you place a tile, you have to match it with another tile on the board, thus creating a connection via those railroads. There's two phases in each of the rounds. The first phase is bidding for those, and then the second is placing them and then scoring them. In turn order, depending on how you bid, yep. you're gonna be able to place one of these, and you're trying to connect them, as Ryan said, by the railroads on them. The moment that you place them, you're then gonna place a railroad, one of your uh, locomotives on them, depending on whether or not you connected the right type of areas. And then each of these is gonna generate one through or zero through three resources on them and then players are going to actually be moving these resources around to be able to not only influence the stocks for those particular things but also to score points depending upon how uh, the type of tile that yep. was moved and where you came in that turn order yeah for example so you're always going to start off by bidding for turn order yeah and you actually bid your victory points to see who goes first they give you tiles here for each of the different characters. Right now, we do have a five-player game set up, but the expansion will be able to be played at six. Right. So we have the five-player tiles, and as you bid, you're deciding how many points you want to bid. Yep. And it's going to go in turn order until someone passes. When they pass, they actually drop to the bottom of the turn order, and then play continues until only one person is remaining. At that point, that player will go first, but they have to pay the number of victory points that they bid. That's right. And those numbers can go really high. Yeah. So then you're going to draft, and when we draft, you're simply going to pick either a stock or a, one of the new cities, and you simply take that. Now, note, when you draft, you're going to go around the table twice in mm -hmm. that same turn order. You can't draft two cities, nor can you draft two stocks. You're going to have to take one at one point and one at the other point, and you simply collect those in your hand. Then you get to place on the board. Now placing, as we simply alluded to before, you're gonna take one of your cities, place it adjacent to a location, hopefully mm -hmm. next to a location, and then be allowed to put one of your locomotives on one of these two areas. And the point of doing that is because you wanna move across your own railroads because you're getting victory points and not giving them to other players. That's, that's exactly right. And each of these railroad uh, cities has a number on it. Mm -hmm. That's the number of cubes you're gonna draw from this bag. That's now, right. there are a multitude of different colors in this bag based on the number of players that are playing. In a five player game, you're gonna use all the different colors. You randomly draw one out and place it, and that becomes the good that you can deliver from, from that city. That's right. Then you're going to actually move tiles around. This is pretty simple. The first thing you do is you decide which one of these different resources you want to move. Now, the number of resources is gonna depend upon the number of players participating. Mm -hmm. But you're simply gonna take one of these and deliver them to an, an adjacent city. When you do so, you're looking at a couple different things. Number one, which railroad are you moving over? Yep. A rail line are you moving over? In this case, I'd be moving over New York City. Number one, that's gonna influence the stock and it's simply gonna to move to the right, meaning that it's gonna gain more points if you own that stock at the end of the game. The second thing that you need to be aware of is what color resource did you actually move? When you do that, you simply place it in front of you, denoting that you're the first player in this entire round to move a brown resource. The first player to do that with each of the different colors is gonna get three points. And then if another player moves yep. a brown, they're getting two, and then one, and so forth through the uh, entire round. Yeah, and the game is going to continue with each player placing tiles, going around placing all the tiles, going around and delivering. Then you immediately refresh, put out five new stocks, mm -hmm. five new cities, go right back into the bidding. Now, as you do this, the city that's in front of you is going to just keep on growing. Yeah. You're going to start really blocking each other. Resources are going to become scarce, and you're going to have to make 
more strategic decisions. Especially on how you're delivering as well. Through the course of the game, you're not gonna be able to deliver over your own collar. In that case, I did. I delivered them over my own blue. But if you're delivering over other people's train tracks, you have to pay them some victory points as well. Yeah, if it might be worth it for you, especially because if you're the first to deliver on that collar, you're still getting three. And if you're delivering over a stock that you need, yeah. it could still benefit you to give other players the points. It's a very cool game. Very fast playing yeah. game too. For people that like train games, but don't like the intricacies of like an 18XX game, right. this is something very easy to get into. So let's talk about the expansion, which is called Robber Barons. Yeah. And it is brand new. It adds a wide variety of new things to the game. The first thing we've talked about a couple times, it's going to deliver a sixth player. That player is going to be a green yeah. player caller, and there's also going to introduce another one of the resources which you'll need because you have more players in the game. That's right. We're going to take these white cubes, and if you're playing with the sixth player, you just take these white cubes, put them in the bag, add them in with everything else, because more player count, you're going to want to write in these cubes. Yep. The second thing that they're going to add are new stocks. These are the new stocks in the game, and, and when you add these, you're also going to have to introduce some new city tiles. They've not only given you a bunch of new city tiles to add, but they're also replacing some of the other city tiles to make sure that these are going to come into play through the course of the game That's as well. That's right, and there's already about 12 stock options, so this adds a 13th stock that you're going to be able to bid on and control during the game. Speaking of one other new city tile, this is going to be a wild. It's called the RR Railroad, and it's going to be able to be placed against any other one. So it's going to meet any of these different conjunctions that you so wish. Trick is, people are going to be bidding pretty high for this because it's going to allow them to place a couple trains yeah, at I mean, the same Yeah, I mean, if you place in the middle of a gap, you could place up to three trains on that in one go. It's pretty awesome. All right, so what else do you have over there? Yeah, I've got, a, there's a couple other things added. Uh, two other city tiles, the new industry tile, which once you bid on these tiles, they sit in front of you and you can play them when they best benefit you. The new industry tile allows you to replenish a city up to its maximum amount of goods. Yep. So if all the cubes have been taken off and you really need to deliver, you can still do that. The other one is the R and R headquarters. You can turn this card in, and it lets you do a second delivery on your turn. So you can really use these to manipulate the turn structure how you need it. All right, back to me. There's also now the locomotive upgrades. These are really cool. People are going to be bidding really high for these as well. Anytime you deliver any of the goods, you're getting one extra victory point per delivery. So those ones that may only give you a point are now giving you two points. Any of those that give you three points are now giving you four points. So yeah. we're going to bid pretty high for these, and there's two of them in this expansion. Yeah, and there's two other things that come with the expansion. First of all, we're going to talk about the hotels and water towers. Now, yeah. if you were lucky enough to get this uh, first edition of this game, you already have the hotels and water towers in your copy. But for everybody else who didn't get it with the first edition, you'll have a chance here as part of the Kickstarter. Yep. The last thing that can be added with this expansion are the stock shenanigans tiles. Now, these are going to come up as stock and allow you to do a bunch of different things to mess with the stock market. It adds a lot of player interaction and the ability to kind of have a take that aspect. You can use it to tank stock. You can use it to buy stock at a discount. You can use it to even merge two companies together. So every time one moves up, they both move up. So these stock shenanigans really allow for some, some more control yeah. and, a, and a little bit of chaos yeah. to tap into the stock market. So that is the first expansion to Railroad Rivals. It is called Robber Barons, a now one to six player game all about drafting and tile placement. If you guys have any questions about the game, make them in the comments below. Subscribe to us, follow us on Twitter, and now also follow us on Instagram, and we will catch you guys next time.